but they probably will because I'm I'm low on endurance and uh, I don't want I don't I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Oh Jesus! Hi, buds. How you doing? You good? <gasps> That's good. Fuck! Instantly got up, bitch. It's mostly because I know. If I get knocked down, I just hold up on the on the analog sticks. Because as soon as the, the prompt pops up, it'll instantly get me back up onto my feet. Which is quite cool. Alright, come on. There we are. Well, there goes one. So I got quite a bit of my Kai back. Oh, yeah. He has 604. Ooh. I'll go with this. Go fuck yourself. I knew it was going to happen. That's why it fucks me off so much, because it's like, why do I bother trying to attack when they're just going to dodge? Ah, oh, he's bleeding, so I don't have to worry about him. Should I? There we go. Hooray! Hmm. That was a good choice. I could kill both of them actually. With a shield strike. Yeah. Maybe even a quick strike, I don't know. That might oh no that there we go. That'll do. <laughs> ah. Fucking RNG man. Really? Okay. Just fuck everything. Cock end. Shield bash, because for some reason they can't dodge those. Wow. What a bunch of bullshit that was. Jesus. Seriously. Attack with a regular. Oh, uh, you know, attack with one that can be parried quite easily. Misses. Attack with a quick attack that shouldn't be parried very easily. Misses. Of course it fucking does. I can't hit them with fucking anything. It's so stupid. Just, like, it, it only annoys me so much because the enemies are able to dodge you so fucking frequently. Whereas if you try, it's like, nope. Not allowed to do that. Good fucking luck. Whoa, that's a lot of crossbow bolts. What could I put as a crossbow? What could my crossbow be? Secondary weapon? But then I'd need bolts for it, or could I use it to replace my... to replace my knives. I have no idea. Once the soldiers of the Darklands have been slain to the last man, you turn back to see Leandra waiting for you. Oh, pardon me. Wait for you as close to the chamber entrance as she dares. You get her attention and toss the Shanti amulet into her waiting hands. As soon as she has it, she slips it on and, bra and braves the roiling vapors. The magic of the talisman protects her the same way it protected you. Under its aegis, she approaches a device with every intention of shutting it down. The Shanti device is ancient and cryptic, but thanks to her ingenuity and skill, she proves to be up to the challenge. It only takes her a few seconds to figure out the device's controls. Once she does, she accesses the emitter and touches several panels of engraved crystal. The poisonous fumes start moving again, this time back into the device. The clouds... The cloud undulates as it draws towards the center of the chamber, seeping swiftly into the relic and disappearing for good. Well done, you tell her, honestly impressed. Thank you, Frael. She says, a bright smile on her face. But should we not get out of here now? I have seen as much of this toxin room, toxic room as I care to. Following her out, you could not agree more. Yay! The pillager's command site. That seems like it would be the last place to go, but there's also all the way over here. Which could be somewhere we go. Crawling with enemies. Nope. Alright, we'll go north then. Ding! Yeah! Glad to have the Noxious Chamber far behind you. The tunnel ahead is blessedly free of dangers. Unfortunately, that peace does not last long. Of course it doesn't. Diving behind a rock cover column for cover 
has almost become second nature down here, and once again it saves you from discovery. In the room ahead, several key acts have been garrisoned under rough conditions. The room looks, looks like it once held dozens of, gray, of the Grey Beasts, but you have steadily been taking your toll against their numbers. Such a large party of Giac never acts on its own, though. You are not surprised when a massive Gawagaz stomps into the chamber, roaring at its underlings. Okna Gunzar Moksug Ganaik Ganiak Ekziz. Our master Gunzar grows impatient. Go find her. Ooh, who? Leandra. The huge beast crosses the chamber to address the hastily assembling Giac force. Even one who do not know the foul Giac language can understand the next word it utters. Leandra. Leandra's eyes widen in shock as a huge creature sounds out her name. How? She whispers in shock. How can it possibly know my name? Gunzar must be the Drekarim commander who has been orchestrating everything from Vatag. Apparently he has unveiled some of the secrets of Leandra's prototype. Even worse, he knows about her. The picture is getting clearer and it is not a pleasant image. You cannot wait for the Geax to find you both. You draw your weapons. Weapon and hiss at Leandra to stay hidden. Whatever the th these fiends want from the girl, you cannot let them capture her. Whatever, whatever happens, stay hidden, stay safe. You leave your cover and rush ahead and rush headlong towards the Gawagaz. Akiamaz Ah Okim Tag Doc. Lone Wolf is here, kill him. It roars as soon as it spots you. Of course it does. Rawr. Yeah, that's that's the noise it makes, just rawr. <laughs> there he is. Raw. <laughs> oh there's the there's the Gawagaz. Hi friend! You all look so weird. Well, you're ready to beat my face in. Now the question is, should I use my thingamajig or not? Because I don't know if I should. It take off. It might take off a good chunk. Screw it. Give it a go. Whoosh. Yay! Kills well for them. I get the feeling there's probably more Geax though. Oh no, they're in. Well, that's good. I don't have enough to do any of these. I will just defend. And then block. Unless it does the stomp thing. Oh no, that wasn't a Gawagaz that did the stomp. No, it won't. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Crap. Go for the Gawagaz. Yeah, makes the most sense. Oh wait, yeah. What is it I do here? Oh, I do, I do mash B. Do I punch it? Oh snap! Yes, I do. I could heal if I really want to. I don't think. No, that wouldn't do much. This might. It probably still won't. Like 500 collectively. Yeah, 617. Ah, well. I can't do any of those. I could heal, and then I'd get all my endurance back, and be able to attack. That would make more sense. Yes! Nice! Roar! Damn! Through its jaw. Bab bab. I was about to say, there's probably another. Oh, he's got a poison blade. I'll stun him. They both have boys poison blades. Oh dear. <laughs> Shit. Wait a sec. I could do that one. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Fuck, my stuff broke. It's it's fucking shocked me. I don't have enough. Shit. No. I have enough for that, but... Would it work? I have no idea. It did. Yes. I got all my fucking psionic stuff back, too. He's stunned, so I don't need to worry about him. But my sword is broken, I think. 
Which makes sense, to be honest. You fucking douche. Oh well. Really? Twice in a row? I don't even have enough anymore because of those. I think I need 400. There we go. Just gonna say, if you fucking dodged. That wasn't so bad. Apart from the fact my stuff's broken. That's, that's quite bad. I did get the Adjudicar though. I've got another one, but it's not upgraded. That's the shame. So that means it's the stuff it gives me, stat boosts and whatever, won't be as good. Ah well. Maybe I'll get a good weapon. I doubt it. I got superior leather, tainted bolts of leather, and some elixirs. Sure. The battle was violent and the chamber had been has been completely ravaged. It is on the body of a hul of the hulking Gowagas, however. Oh. However, wait, however that you find something of great value. That doesn't make sense. Whatever, tucked into a long pouch of crudely stitched leather. Leather, you discover a black iron tube with a letter inside. What does it say, Leon? Just says as she leaves her cover and returns to you. Please, Lone Wolf, tell me. It's written in the language of the Darklands. It will take me a moment to translate it. In the eerie silence of this blood-drenched room, you study the letter. Leandra has her eyes fixed on you as you read. She clearly wants to catch every single expression that you make, even before you make you speak to her again. The message seems to have been written by Gunzai himself. Eventually, you manage to translate it all. Our success even exceeds Dark Lord Harkon's expectations. The machinery stolen from Rockstar are mere children's toys compared to the engine that has reached us. It was Nar's will that we found it. My best engineers are studying it as I write this missive. Though the device has proven to be very advanced, I'm confident it will yield its secrets soon. The craftsmanship and intricacy of, its, of this engine is beyond the work of Jen Redalian. For all his skills, he could never produce something like this. I suspect this device was created by his offspring. That a mere girl a few years, of, yeah, a few years could build such marvels is hard to believe, but it appears true. I must know for certain, search the, chun the, search the tunnels and the forest beyond, find this girl, Leandra, and see that she reaches me alive. I will force the truth from her one, one way or another. This is your sole mission now. Spend every last cur under your command if you have to, but bring me that girl. Warlord Gunzar, commander of Vatag. This news is troubling indeed. The enemy has Leandra's prototype, and now they want her as well. The closer you get to recovering that machine, the closer you are to delivering her into their hands. Though it will not be easy, you have to convince her to stay behind. The prototype has to be found, but you cannot risk guns are capturing her while you do it. Yeah, I guess. How do I do it? You can't on... Yeah, you can't on Leandra's understanding and to convince her to leave. Leandra stares at the letter. Though she cannot read it, she can tell from your expression that the news is dire. What is it? What does the blighted thing say? You take a deep breath and turn to her. Leandra, the enemy knows of you now. They will stop at nothing to claim you and your skills. For nah. I need you to turn back. That is why you need me with you. I am safer in your company and I can be useful. We have to press on together. You shake your head sadly. Please, Leandra, go back to the mines. I cannot fight our enemies and worry for your safety at the same time. And believe me, I am more worried about you now than I have ever been. She wants to say something in reply, something determined and brave. You are sure of it, but you anticipate her. You need to have the same faith in me as I have had in you so far. You said I should have arrived in Roxanne sooner, and you were right. Now let me put an end to this. She wants to protest, but the look on your face is more than she can refuse. She closes her eyes and nods just once. I wanted to do my part, you know that. But I'm not supposed to be a burden, or a danger for you. Know this, though. I'm not going because the Fryal demands it. I'm going because a friend is asking me to do so. Aww. She looks at you in the eyes one final time, and then turns away and leaves. 